Yo, yo, what is up, YouTube? It is a junkie, and I'm back with another topic video about comics. When has comics taken over your life and end game of collecting? <clears throat> so, as you can see in this room, I mean, I am. Comics have literally taken over this entire room. Um, if you guys have watched my videos for a while, <clears throat> if you've watched my very first video, which I think was 2014, so almost 10 years, um, you guys, if you look at my very first video, I might have had 30, maybe 30, 40 short boxes. Now look, now look at it. It is quadrupled in size, if not more, um... So, my question to you guys is, is when, when has comics taken over your life? When, when has the addiction become so real that you have literally taken up an entire room? And I mean, I have taken up an entire room in my house just for my collection. I mean, there are comics everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> I have them stuck in all kinds of nooks and crannies. Um, I'm getting some short boxes this week, so these will all be in short boxes, so they'll be all filed away. And then I can actually start um, putting them in order again, or try to at least. I'm on vacation again this week. But I came up here and I was just thinking, man, comics have, this, comics have literally taken over my life. Um, I have addictive personality, so once I get hooked on something, I, I, I go all in on it. Um... As you guys have seen with my movie collection, I have over we have over 7500 movies, physical movies in our collection, not digital, physical movies like actual disc. Um, I'm approaching I think 35,000 comics in my collection. And uh yeah, I got back from the flea market today. I bought a little stack, a little handful of books down there and the they'll, they'll end up in a video sometime, but I just wanted to come in here and show you guys that comics have literally taken over my life. And when, at what point, has comics taken over your life? If you want to make a response video, I'd love to see it. Um, you know, we used to do this back in the day on YouTube is uh, tag videos or response videos. And it really doesn't happen anymore because comic book videos are more about speculation and, and that kind of stuff. But... Um, each one of these long boxes I've gotten from my buddy Mike at the flea market. So, <laughs> over the past, I would say, I get at least almost one a week. This week I didn't because he, you know, I could have, but, you know, it was kind of cold and we were both cold. So, I only got a little handful of books and he was ready to go home and I was ready to go home. So, um, maybe next week I'll get another long box. Um, I try to pick titles that I'm not familiar with. Um, and try to like find them on the cheap and get big chunks of a run so I can read it and see if I like it or not. And then I will decide if I want to keep continue to collecting it. Um, but I like collect I like collecting entire runs. Um, so finding like you know like I started working on Flash today. I know there's Superman books on top, but I do I am starting to collect Superman titles and Flash. Trying to get more DC into my life. Um, but anyways. I came in here and I put the books down and I looked and I, I wanted to come in here and start because I need to make videos on all these books. But some of them I've already shown. So I'm trying to mark the box that I have videos for. So I'm trying to go back through my video catalog and seeing if I, you know, pulling out a few books in the box and seeing if I can see them in a video. That way I know that I've made a video about it. And oh, it's just a, it's just a huge hassle, guys. It's a big, it's a big it's a big chore uh keeping up with a, an extensive you know a massive collection and trying to keep it organized i mean i got books everywhere just everywhere there are books and trying to keep them organized and keep my room looking neat and not having them everywhere just scattered i mean they are kind of now but i'm just waiting on boxes um to come in bags and i gotta get some bags and boards so i try to keep everything grouped together of what needs to be done. Um, I've got stacks up there. 
I've got stacks over here. You know, I've got my action figures and just it's everywhere. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come up here and say I think comic book collecting has officially taken over my life. And it's it's a good habit to have. There are people out there that are addicted to a lot other things that are a lot worse for you than comic books. But it is an addiction. And uh my end game, man, I don't I don't really know if I even have one. I need to really sit down and think about it and, 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 and say to myself, when is enough enough? You know what I mean? When is, when is collecting comics going to be enough? If it ever will. And will it be for you guys? And do you have an end game in mind? Um, but yeah, guys, comic book collecting has officially taken over my life. So, hope you enjoy this video. Make a response video if you like. I'd love to see it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I've got a big stack of movies downstairs I'm going to go make a video on now. And I'm on, like I said, I'm on vacation. So expect a video every day on something comic related or movie related. Uh, flea market tomorrow is Saturday. So I'll be definitely going down there. So I'll take little short clips. But anyways, guys, leave your comments. When has comic book collection, collecting taken over your life? And do you have an end game? As of right now, yes. It has taken over my life, and no, there is no endgame. Junkie out.